Hi, my name's Nick. I go to Blessed Sacrament Primary School in Clifton Gardens. I came here on an excursion today and I thought, it, I think it was really inspiring seeing all of the people with disabilities that they, how they handle the life with blindness or use it, having to use a wheelchair. And I really enjoyed using all of the equipment that helps them get through that. So it was fun. Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm also from Blessed Sacrament School. I'm in year six. And I we came here for an excursion today. And I enjoyed this so much because you got to see what different people experience with different disabilities. And they're just amazing because they get out there and they just they just live their normal lives. And it's, we stumble over certain things and they just go out there and do things. And it's great to see the sort of things that they have to do and do in their daily lives. What activities did you um, get involved in today? Um, I did the mouth painting, which was really fun because you had you couldn't really get control over the brush. You had to like maneuver it to fit your mouth and to hold it in place. So that was fun. And then we did the with the deaf football was also good, and the meeting Ali the dog and her blind the guide dog and her blind owner. That was really inspiring as well because she was really nice and she had she had these different ways of try of seeing and hearing and knowing how to get through one day after the next and the next and it was really cool. All the activities were absolutely fantastic. I um, love the mouth painting because yeah, as Nick said, it's really hard to control um, the paintbrush brush with your mouth and we heard from John who was who had to learn how to paint with his right hand which was not his dominant hand and that must have been so incredibly impossible and because when I write with my left hand it just it's so hard so he must have been so amazing and the deaf soccer was was really good as well and it was, it was just really fun but you know it was, it was when you take the earplugs out that we were using it just goes wow you can just see how much sound just disappears when you're deaf. It's just incredible. Hi, I'm Karina and this is Caitlin and we are both students from Western High. And today we're here doing the Disability Day and it has been really fun and it's been amazing because yeah. you know you get to you get to kind of explore and see what it's like to be with a disability and it's yeah. been really really fun. So it's yeah. a really good day today. Because like we started off in the youth centre with um, this girl who was partially blind and she had a guide dog with her so we just um yeah we got to have a just see if we go with and it was really cool because when she took the harness off the dog just came so and then yeah. yeah and then we went to the Mosman library and we went to see a, another blind woman and she also had a guide dog but um, this time she taught us how to write if you're blind and how to read in braille yeah. Yeah. And it turns out there are like 46 or 43 letters and numbers, I think. Yeah, and, yeah um, and she typed down names and the alphabet and the numbers for us. Yeah. And that was really cool. And then we got to play the deaf football right there. Yes, yeah, so and we had, yeah, we had like earplugs and it was really fun to play soccer. Yeah. And then we came to up, the wheelchairs. Yeah, and um, we did had, like wheelchair races. Yeah, it was so and fun. It was, and then we went to the art gallery and did we did mouth painting, mouth, mouth, yeah, like we mouth. like painted a picture. Like yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, and then yeah. we just got barbecue. I'm Saki and I came from Japan. And today we played death, death song, like soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really interesting because you can't hear like not a sound that you can usually. You had to make eye contact with people to just like see what to do next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think today was a really, really good day because you got to experience everything that you don't really get to experience like being deaf when you're playing soccer and like playing to live your mouth because it really makes you know how other people feel if they have disability and it really kind of helps you because you go like because you have such little problems in your life and then you think oh my god they have a disability like that or, and they just don't give up ever in their life and it's just like very inspirational it's like very yeah thank you guys thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us today i really appreciate it